Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Eric again. So it's time for the Reapers Challenge and today we have the Grey Wolf Den. This is normally just a standard dungeon as you can see right here that was linked to Velosk. However with the Reapers Challenge version the difficulty shall be increased by a little bit with no consumables allowed, no revives allowed and no health regen outside of combat allowed. So I'm going to jump in with this group and we'll see how it goes. So this isn't going to be exactly the easiest thing in the world. With no health, three regen Gen and all of the mobs dealing a lot of damage so we're just going to go for each group of mobs we just have a whole bunch of these werewolves and wolves alike each of them can deal a decent amount of damage but put together they could kill you fairly quickly you also have the storm collars just watch out for their big large areas of lightning and you just keep running through these halls up these steps and meeting more groups and groups of enemies we kill them off and proceed to the next group and that's them done and now we have our boss which is just going to be here you can just walk straight up to him grab his attention now you want to be careful because of this guy he can spawn ads on the outside of the arena and he can jump around and stuff you can see now he's grown bigger we have a whole bunch of ads coming in it can be a bit difficult to get our attention as the tank since they're all about the place but they seem to be able to kill them off fairly quickly again we do have a warlock healer so we're gonna have to ideally stay within their heal area more ads coming in and we just have to kill them off as we've killed the boss and we can proceed on to slay pack master Seav. so we just have to navigate to this portal here interact with it and we should get teleported just here we do have a campfire nicely here and we can continue further on normally in an ordinary gray wolf den you could just rush past all of these enemies grouping them up at the end however i'm just going to take things a bit slower as many of them could just swarm me over along with my dps friends like one of these guys could pretty much easily kill a dps if they're not killing it quick enough move to the next group and so on this dungeon is filled with a lot a lot of enemies always make sure your tank goes first or these guys you can see how much damage they do to me will absolutely wreck you as a dps and that's me with having some defensive stats and here we come to the next boss the second one all of these bosses you're not going to have to group up or anything you don't really have a campfire before them so you're just going to have to make sure you got those powers but both this boss and the first one do summon these ads so being in your aoe build loadout isn't such a bad thing anyway just beware of all these wolves but if you have enough dps like we do they die very fast as for his mechanics really nothing special just some melee attacks and also his jumping around ability and then he's gone well once you've killed them then we have to go and kill Ethranliv Maroslake, going to be the final boss. Definitely will be a lot more challenging than those two, as she does have a good few mechanics you definitely need to keep aware of. So we're just continuing on through these halls. Just be aware of these werewolves, gonna ambush you here. Continue on, make sure your DPS are keeping up. Enter the next group, and we can kill them off fairly quickly. And they should be able to finish those guys off fairly quickly. The next group comes running down here. Keep them grouped up ideally, and we can just continue on. Now we have this massive hallway. We're gonna get ambushed from the side here. Just watch out as they jump over the edge. We could just take this group before we go to the next group there. But I think these guys are competent enough. We should be grand. Aggro them. Mount combat power. I should be able to use my daily now as well. And that stem pretty much melted fairly quickly. Activate this lever, which will bring this bridge across. Just a bit of patience. You don't really want to be falling into that pit. And we can make our way through this gateway and up to the boss. Now she will have a bunch of ads. So I'm just going to stick with what I have here. She has quite a massive arena here. And just run straight up to her. Now she will have a few mechanics which I will go over. Initially she's just going to be attacking us with the sword. She does have an AOE swing. She has this hand strike which uh, deals a lot of damage. Try not to be within those red areas. And now she goes massive like that. And you can see we can't deal any more damage to her. So what you want to do is bring her over here. She does have powers where she's just going to jump randomly around the place. So we can't exactly avoid all of that. Again, just avoid those red areas. She'll just randomly jump at a DPS sometimes, move out of that, 
and this is the wolf you have to kill you have to kill it adjacent to the boss in order for the boss to break its immunity which we should see happen now we can see we can now damage the boss again since we killed that red wolf adjacent to her if you kill the red wolf not close enough to her then you'll fail and you'll have to go and wait for the wolf to spawn all over again which can be very annoying she will do this phase multiple times she'll most likely do it now again she raises up and now she's all immune big and buffed here again just watch out for that red wolf spawning you will get a vocal tell there we go they have summoned the barrow spain wolf and we go and we kill it and that should break her immunity again there we go and she's all small and we can burn her down again make sure to give that combo advantage avoid the red and kill those ads when they come and otherwise this boss is fairly simple if people aren't paying attention to that mechanic with killing the red wolf you can end up with a situation where somebody keeps killing that wolf and you're stuck with the boss being immune it can be fierce annoying we're going to have that phase a third time now you can see she's immune we have the red wolf again we kill it and now we can just finish off the boss and for some reason i can't do anything i can take damage but i can't use any of my powers i don't know what's the story right here and that's her defeated and that's your gray wolf den done we obtain our reaper's mark and we can claim our rewards now you can go and reroll and have a chance to obtain those fancy premium unbind tokens like we do right here do exist in this dungeon and we have a second chest right here which you'll need a wolf key to open again similarly you can reroll and the rewards the drop rates shouldn't be any different and to get that wolf key again you can just go to this wondrous bazaar and you can see you can just purchase it here for a base value of 2500 astral diamonds so that is our gray wolf den nothing special except the last boss otherwise it's just hallways and hallways of those werewolves and their buddies again i'd like to give a massive thank you to all of my channel members for helping me keep my channel going and if i presented this well consider leaving the video a like and if you're new around here consider subscribing see you guys around goodbye for now